In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make a flyover video with Google Earth Pro using nothing more than map directions. All you need is Google Earth Pro, which is free to download, and a good internet connection. We'll be using a lot of data. Once you've downloaded and installed Google Earth, you can get used to the various view options available. You can choose the ones that you like. I happen to like having the little map overview in the bottom right corner, and I also like to show the grid lines, which shows latitude and longitude. These options are available from the View menu at the top. It's worth getting comfortable with different ways to navigate around Google Earth. Uh, you can use things like click and drag, shift click and drag to rotate, and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. There are also database layers, which you see in the bottom left, and you can choose to show or hide different ones that you're interested in. Click on the Get Directions link that shows up under Search, and now you can enter start and destination places, just as you would on Google Maps. In this case, we're using the name of a school in Naples, Florida, and a school on an Indian reservation near Miami, Florida as our start and destination. When we click the Get Directions button, Google Earth will show us one or more alternatives to get to our destination. It will also zoom into the general area of the route so we can see what each route looks like. On the left, under Suggested Routes, we can click on each of these routes and see it highlighted on the map interactively. This is useful for seeing exactly where the route is going to go. Click on the first small icon under the directions to copy the selected route to My Places. Now we're done with the search results, and you can close it if you like. The route we just saved now appears under My Places as a single entry, Expand it and you'll see all the route alternatives under it. Uncheck the ones you don't want to see. Now that you've hidden the other routes, expand the selected route. And if you don't want to show the waypoints, uncheck all the yellow waypoints. Those are the turns in your route. You want to find the last entry. It has an icon with three little squares. Click on that. At the bottom right of the Places pane, click on the Play Tour button. The tour playback control bar will appear and the route will begin playing as a tour. We don't need to see the whole tour now, so we can pause playback by pressing the pause button. Then click on the save button, which is also on the control bar. This brings up a dialog. Now give your tour a name. It can be anything you want. You just want it to be descriptive and something that's unique so you can pick it out of a drop down list. You don't need the description. It won't make any difference when you make the movie. Now we've created our tour and you can see it appear under My Places. You can exit the tour playback mode by closing the tour control bar. Now we're ready to record your movie. First, navigate to the starting view that you want. Whatever your starting view is, that's where Google Earth is going to begin the movie from, and it will zoom into the first scene. Now go to Tools Movie Maker. That will bring up a dialog. Now you want to select Record from a Saved Tour, and select the tour that you just saved from the drop-down. You'll also need to click Browse, find a folder on a drive with plenty of space, and give it a name. Don't worry about the extension. Now select the video output parameters that you like. If you want to customize, you can also switch back to custom and then change something. Let's say I want to have 1080p, but only 30 frames per second. Finally, select your output configuration. The file type M4V does give better quality, but uses a lot more disk space and some editing software won't handle it. MP4 is used for Motion JPEG and it's probably a good choice. That's it. Now we click Create Movie and away we go. 
it's going to start rendering. This is going to take a very long time. If you have, let's say, a five hour road trip, it could take a full day to render, depending on how fast your computer is and which options you selected.